Hello and welcome. Before initiating the calculation of a CFD problem, we need to set up the problem. For this, we can use the physics tab of ANSYS Fluent which is well equipped with many options that are categorized into groups. The focus of this lesson is on the materials group. Using the materials option, we can define the materials to be used in different regions of the computational domain. We can choose various materials of both solid and fluid type from a material database. We can also tweak the material properties to suit our requirement. To further explore the materials option, let's get started. Launch ANSYS Fluent in Solution Mode. Go to File, Read, Mesh and load the provided mesh file. In case the mesh is not displayed in the graphics window, use the Mesh Display dialog box to view the mesh. In the Physics tab, we have the Materials group to define the required materials for the problem. Clicking the Create Edit button opens the Create Edit Materials dialog box which is used to create and modify both fluid and solid type materials. This dialog box can also be accessed by double clicking on the Materials option in the Outline view and clicking Create Edit in the Materials task page. The default material for fluid is air and for solid is aluminum. However, many problems involve materials other than the default and Fluent has a database to select these materials from. To access the database, just click Fluent Database. Further material selection is available through the Granta MDS database and the user can also define their own materials using the user-defined database. For more information on these, please refer to the user's guide. In this lesson, we will use the Fluent database to demo the process. In the Fluent database panel, there is a long list of fluid materials. The list can also be sorted alphabetically by name or by chemical formula. It is also possible to group the items by name or by chemical formula by clicking the toggle tree view button. For example, here the materials are sorted by name as well as grouped according to the name that they begin with. Using the material type drop down, we can select either fluid or solid materials list to choose from. We can just select the relevant material that we want from the list. Additional material types are available depending on the models selected. For instance, when the species model is enabled, notice that the mixture material type is available under the material type drop down. For this demo, we will select liquid water from the fluid list. Either use the slider bar or click on the slider bar and then type the first letter of the material which is W in this case and it will go directly to water. Clicking again on an already selected material will deselect it. We can also choose multiple materials by simply clicking on them. To deselect all and start over again, click on deselect all shown button. Ensure that liquid water is selected and click copy to transfer it to the materials panel and add it to fluent case file. In the database panel, there is a long list of material properties, but when the material is copied, 
the properties shown in the create edit materials panel will depend on the models selected for instance thermal conductivity and specific heat are displayed in the materials panel only when energy is enabled hence it is recommended to set up all the models before defining materials each of the properties that appear in the materials is defined by a constant value by default if the problem requires that we use different values of material properties than what is copied from the database we have the option to change them also there are a wide range of options available to define the values of material properties apart from constant along with a number of different gas laws there are options such as piecewise linear piecewise polynomial polynomial and expression which can be used to define a property as a function of independent variables in the create edit materials panel we also have the option to provide a descriptive name to the material if required make the necessary changes and click create edit button to register the changes at this point we are provided with the option to either replace the copied material or save as a separate material in the materials task page choose the most appropriate option let's summarize what we learned in this video we discussed the materials option in the physics tab which allows us to define the required materials for our computational problem we learned how to access the create edit materials dialog box and the fluent database of materials we explored the material properties panel and the different options of defining them with this let's wrap up the lesson